Hello, Scratchers and other people and stuff and yeah. This is a cherry on Scratch. Welcome to the level editor walkthrough for Super Granny, a collaboration project made by myself and DD8861. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing the level editor and describing the, its various uh, features and capabilities just so you don't get lost and overwhelmed. Okay, so we're going to click the green flag. I'm on my version of the project right now. Um, so what you want to do first to go to the level editor is click play and then you'll mistakenly realize that you clicked the wrong button because instead of going to a level editor you just look at all the levels that are in the game. So you click the green flag to go back and then you click the button that actually says level editor. Oh, and then you realize that you have to go to DD8861's version of the project. Uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'm going to go to his version of the project and I'll let you know once I've done that. Hey, I'm back, and I uh, went on to DD8861's version of the project. Uh, you can tell it's his version. That probably has the level editor, because it actually says level editor in the thumbnail right here. So now that I'm on probably the correct version of the project, we can probably go to the level editor. Uh, good thing that I pressed the play button last time, because I'm going to show you what happens if I press it again here on the different version. Now we get an empty level, and we have many empty levels. In fact, a hundred of them. Uh, these are levels, empty levels, that you can overwrite using the level editor to make your own levels and create your own adventure, your own super granny adventure. So there's not much in these empty levels, so what we're going to do is maybe go to the level editor and make one. So we go to the level editor, and here we are. We're at level 55. Uh, I was on level 55 probably because I was on level 55 on this level select screen right here. Oh, I was at level 8. That's awkward. Either that's going to be fixed or... Well, regardless, that's not much of a problem because we can change the level that we're at. Uh, and all I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to open level 1. Now I'm on level 1. You can tell because there's a 1 here. So this is the level editor. And what you see here is a basic bare-bones level that is playable. If we wanted to play right now, we can just click play and test it out. So here it is. I'm moving. Uh, I can collect the cats, per the tutorials, save them, and go into the exit flower. And then I can go back to the editor once I've done that. Uh, so, we could probably make a, a little bit of a better level here. Everything that you will ever want to place in your level is located here in the select tile button. And these are all the things that will appear that are used in the base game. So, if I wanted to make a level, I could probably do that. Uh, by just clicking one of these. Maybe I want to make some more ground so I don't fall off here. And then maybe I want to be a little more creative by using a ladder that I can climb later. Right? And then putting some ground here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put in some flowers and make a challenge that you have to plant the flowers here. Okay, so now I have a new level, which I am playtesting right now, and now I can actually climb this ladder, plant these flowers, Plant the super bonus flower. And as usual, save the cats and win the level. Okay, so let's see here. I'm just going to make a different level now because... Oh, also there's the eraser here. You can erase things. I'm just going to make a different level now and hopefully speed up the process just, just so we can see that how a level can be made here. Oh, wait a second. Whoops. Before I do that, I erase the exit flower. If I try to play, I, I need the exit flower, so I better place one right here. And I also need a granny, but if I just place it any, if I place granny anywhere else, she'll go exactly to where I click, so that's fine. Okay, I'm going to make a level now, and uh, I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, I'm back. I've made my level, but I don't really want it to be called empty level, so I'm going to go to the settings button here. And there's a lot of settings that we can do. I'm going to explain all of these in a bit. But first, I want I don't want it to be named empty level, so I'm going to click name, and I'm going to name it uh, something different. Maybe I'll name it my first level. There we go. So now it's not called empty level anymore. The other thing I want to do is, uh, have you noticed that there's a grid back here. That's the background, this grid. 
And the grid is very nice because you can clearly see where all the squares and tiles can go, but maybe when you're playing, it doesn't lead to a very good experience here. Maybe we want a better background, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to level settings and change the theme. Ah, so now we have some sunny hills, like the first world in the game. And this looks a little nicer. This looks like a little nicer of a background I can use. The other thing I can maybe do is keep clicking it to change my themes even more. Uh, I really like the music for the factory theme. So I can still play in the factory theme, even though it's level one, doesn't matter. Uh, but maybe for the purposes of now, I'm just going to switch it back to the, the hills background. Okay, so I'm going to play test my level here. I just clicked the play button. Everything seems to be working so far. I'm just rescuing some cats, planting some flowers. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so I plant this flower, but I have to get to the exit flower in order to beat the level. This is a problem because it's impossible to get there. I accidentally, good thing I play tested because I accidentally forgot to put some stuff in the level. But I can remedy this by maybe putting in a hidden ladder. Um, or maybe I want to do something like put some monkey bars here. Yeah, one of those should work. Okay, I'm going to go play through the level and then let's see if it works. Just a reminder that you don't actually need to plant all the flowers to beat the level. That's okay. Aha! Now I can actually, through one of these methods, I can actually get to the exit flower and beat the level. This looks like a very, very good level. So what I want to do now, now that I have a really good level, uh, I want to save it. Now let me explain how to save levels here because it might be a little tricky. Uh, one of the things you don't want to do, you got to be very careful, this green flag is a little dangerous because if I click this, uh, I'm going to go back to the title screen, but I'm going to completely lose all my progress. And I don't want to do that because I worked really hard on making this level. So I'm going to go to this and I'm going to look at the various saving options that are available to me. These top four buttons handle saving and loading. Open is something I don't want to open. It's something I don't want to click because if I do that, I'm going to go to a completely different level and lose all my progress because I didn't save it first. So there are two ways you can save it. The first way, which might be a very quick way and a very good habit to get into, is just to click this save button. Done. If it says saved, then it's saved. And what does this mean? Um, it means it saved the level to memory. The memory is precisely the adventure that is displayed right here. So you notice earlier in the video, this was a blank level, and now it's exactly my first level. I can click play, and I can play it just like in the level editor. Then there's, of course, the blank levels, but, you know. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the level editor. Look, it's my first level. I'm going to open now level 2, just for the heck of it. Look at it, it's level 2. Uh, but if I go back to level 1 now, since I saved it, the level is still here. All because I clicked that save button, which is very good. You want to click the save button early and often just so you don't lose your progress. The other way you can save your level, and this is a little more fun if you want to share one level with another person, you can click get code. And what appears in the entry of this list here, all of it, is a code which you can use to export your level, so to speak. So what you do is you triple click this list entry, copy it in your favorite method. I like using command C and command V because I'm on a Mac. So I just copied it, believe me. Can I copy on the, oh, I can copy it like this. I think that worked. Okay, so now I'm going to exit out of this. And what I can do with that is I can open say level two and I can actually load it myself by entering this code here. I paste in my code and this is exactly the level that I made earlier. So if I go back to level one, then you'll see, hey, this is level one. If I go back to level two, then you say, oh. I open level two. Guys, I open level two and I screwed up because uh, when I loaded my code, I didn't save it, but then I opened another level. So I accidentally left without saving and that's a problem because I lost my level. But that's okay because I can just enter my code again 
and then get it back. Maybe to differentiate between this, I can make change this to a forest background. Now I'm going to save, just so I don't screw up again. And now I can open level 1 without a problem. I can open level 2 without any problem. Everything is still saved. Wonderful. I can still play level 2. It's wonderful. It's a forest background. Okay, so there's a couple ways that you can share your levels with others. Uh, one of them is through this code, right? You could feel free to share your code on the comments section of either of our projects, my, my own project or DD8861's project. We'd be happy to play, our play your levels if, you know, we have time to do that. We're busy people. Uh, you can also, we're going to make a forum topic, and you can post your level codes on that forum topic for everyone to play. Uh, your other option is, uh, let's suppose that uh, I really want to, I really, want, I really like my adventure. I really like my adventure. I really like when I uh, click over here, and I can see level 1 and level 2 right there. Uh, I want to keep, and maybe I... I'm so dedicated that I make 100 levels. I want to save all of them. Uh, I, I got to make sure I save all of them. If I refresh the page, it's all going to be gone. So what I want to do instead is remix the project. Just remix the project like you normally remix a project, and you will be good to go. Because then if you remix the project and you save it, then uh, your levels will be saved to your local file, and then you can also share your project and share your level creations with the entire Scratch community. Yeah, I think that's everything. I just want to repeat again, just to make sure that you guys know that you should always be clicking this save button because that way you won't accidentally, maybe you won't accidentally leave the, leave the project or click the green flag or click this open button. Save early and often just to be sure that you are saving your progress. And if you want to share your level with others, use the save code system. And possibly even better, just save this project as a remix. You don't have to share it if you don't want to, but save it as a remix so that you can make levels on your own local copy and everything will be good to go and just fine. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, the benefit of making your own level, making your own adventure is, whoa, the benefit is that when you are uh, playing your level and you're testing it out, well, you're no longer testing it out. I went to the play button, and now I'm playing the level myself. I'm trying it out, and I go to the exit flower. The great benefit of this is that now this pop-up comes up. I can just go to the next level immediately and play my next level. It's just like how it works in the original game, my version of the game, except this time... It's not the pre-built levels, it's your own levels, which is very fun and exciting. Okay, so now I actually think that's it, and I'm just going to uh, reiterate, uh, save early and often. Hit this save button. Don't open levels before you save your current level. Uh, and have fun. We hope you enjoy this, and we hope you found this video helpful. See you guys.